Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Bethel Evangelical Free Church Hanley. I'm Pastor Gervais Charmley, and as you can tell, this is another church video. It's another Shropshire church video. This is the far-famed church of St. John the Baptist, Hugh Lee, immortalized by A. E. Houseman in his book, The Shropshire Lad, where he writes, the vein veers bright on Hugh Lee steeple. Um, except, of course, Hugh Lee doesn't have a steeple. Uh, you may have got confused with Harley, which does. Um, nevertheless, St. John the Baptist's Hewley is a very interesting building, and as we look around, we shall see its various points of interest. It also has a number of um, little curiosities scattered around to look at. So a beautiful building. It's, so it has this reputation, thanks to A.E. Houseman, um, probably accidentally confusing it and Harley. Um, or maybe somewhere else, but certainly there is no steeple here. But who cares? Like a number of other churches in the area, Kenley and Church Preen, the church is dedicated to John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus Christ, the one who came to declare the coming of the Lord, that the Christ is come, the one who is the Elijah, the one in the spirit and the power of Elijah, who came declaring prepare the way of the Lord. So let's have a look around this fascinating little building. So as usual, we start at the West End. In this case, the West End is elevated. So the church almost has a kind of symmetrical profile that you've got stairs up at the back and steps up at the front. And the reason for it is the lie of the land, I believe. But also what the back steps would give is a kind of raised platform for a singing gallery. The great marvel of the church, the great treasure of course, is the 15th century rood screen, which we shall have a closer look at. Um, we have here the font, which is a rather elegant piece. So it looks, so it looks even, maybe even 17th century. Certainly it's no older, than, certainly the lid is 17th century, um, but it's no older certainly than the the 14th, 15th century, and the 15th century, I would suggest. Um, big windows, which reflect a 14th century, perhaps, rebuild. There's one of the original windows, like those at nearby Church Preen. As I say, this church is noted for being mentioned by A. E. Houseman. Uh, the vein on Hewley steeple, there's bright a far known sign, and there lie Hewley people, and there lie friends of mine. Um, and Hausman's book, quite popular, quite well known, means that visitors come from all over the world to see uh, the steeple that doesn't exist, which is slightly amusing in my, by my view, but there we are. Um, there are only two casualties in the Second World War here, Corporal Charles Parsons of the um, Shropshire Yeomanry and Private... Charles Morris at the first Monmouthshire. The screen is a typical example of the period. You see that it's uh, in this part of the world the tendency is to have them pierced with these tracery patterns, whereas in East Anglia the panels will be painted. The it has been restored, of course, but it is very largely as it would have been with its um, big overhang there which would allow for a loft now disappeared above another Jacobean pulpit this part of the world has great for Jacobean pulpits and there's a gap in the screen of course to allow the pulpit to be accessed um, of course howls of protest if anyone who do anything like that today I can tell you um, there's a little bit of medieval glass in the east window and there is medieval there are medieval tiles here um, the, the building is, in fact, fairly grand for the period and, and particularly for its location. And it was, probably belongs to Wenlock Priory. We've got a very interesting piscina here um, of the semi-column type. So it's in the window rather than being a little arch. And here there's somebody's head um, a bracket that supported something. It's a lady's head wearing a medieval um, headdress, a wimple. Uh, we have the, the Resurrection, Mary Magdalene there, um, Thomas Evans Minshall, 
MA, priest, rector of Hewley and vicar of church, pre and age 63 years, called to rest suddenly while traveling near St. Marlow, um, 24th of May, 1894, three days after leaving England to officiate at, as chaplain at Dinan, buried in this churchyard. So probably he was going for his health, and there's a nice stack of old Bibles and service books. Little radiator, very important here, and as we look west, ouch, um, we forget that there is a yeah, lamp bracket there. There we are, just whacked my head on the lamp bracket, but never mind. Um, it's tough, it'll heal. Um, and you can see again the structure there of the underlying the belfry, underlying the bell cot, and the ladders to get up there, which you generally hope you don't have, you don't need to ever go up there. Again, medieval window, more medieval glass. So this would have been extremely impressive in the Middle Ages. You picture that. Uh, um, I'll just try and stop the bracket for the uh, lamp support from swinging too much. Uh, after whacking my head on it. Um, so you, what you've got here, you've got this massive screen. You've got the windows filled with coloured glass, and of course it's faded now. You just see Christ in majesty at the top there. I think Christ in majesty. Um, and here again, so you've got these big windows that are filled with stained glass. It would have been incredibly impressive. That's a nice, nice lectern, fairly plain. Um, it would have been very, very impressive. The walls would have been painted. And this little church would have looked like a little gem. Today, of course, it's been reordered to fit with a, a reformed style of worship, hence the pulpit. Um, you've got yes, the communion table here, but it is now a table, not a, an altar back against the wall. It's a table where there's some space. Could be used in a... And very much, in fact, could be used in a reform service. There we have the uh, reading desk. Um, mind my head on these. Um, you've got a, a, quite a nice roof up there. It does look to me probably not medieval. That might be medieval actually, but certainly the, the roof structure is hidden by this wooden ceiling. And again, this wonderful pulpit. This is one of the more impressive. So there's clearly some money here in the 17th century too. Um, it's accessed through here, and so the yeah minister can look out at the congregation and um, it's a it's little but it's impressive there we have a 17th century chair it's a, it's small but there's a lot here for such a small building um and as we we head to the back there's a couple of interesting things at the back to look at before we go outside and um, the first is a model a model ship um, I'm not quite sure why we have a model ship here, but it's, it's a model ship. And the other is much more interesting, is a model of the Ark of the Covenant. It's the sort of thing that you'd have for Sunday school, so the children can see this is what the Ark would have looked like. So here we are looking east, you can see the surviving medieval glass in the window, you see the wonderful 15th century rood screen. and if it was, as I suspect, the, the monks of uh, Much Wenlock who were responsible here, they obviously are responsible for making it into this very, very impressive structure. It's a simple building, and what they've done is they've beautified it ra in terms of the ornaments, the, in terms of the screen and the glass, the windows, rather than anything else. Well, let's have a look outside and see again where um, the steeple isn't. Let's start in the porch. The porch is 19th century. It's, there's a, bit, a little bit of a book sale in here at the moment, which is understandable. Um, it's, you know, ways of raising money. There's a plant sale here at the moment, too. Um, I have a look at some plants after doing this video. Uh, and you can see we're in the middle, as far as the middle of the village, uh, little cottages over the road. Houseman would have uh, remembered this sort of uh, idyllic... Um, country setting but here is the church and you can see there is no steeple there is there is a weather vane there is a um, 
a little belfry, but there's no tower, there's no, no steeple. Um, I, I do, as I say, I do wonder whether he meant he, he was thinking of, of uh, um, Harley or Highley or there's a number of similarly named places around here. But uh, you see the the outside of these big windows, uh, church porch. We will wander around the outside, giving uh, more or less rambling reflections on on the building. It is a very lovely building, and, and it is, as you can see, it's very simple. There's another one of these cases where what you've got is a uh, single cell structure. There's no distinction between nave and chancel structurally. They are one and the same, just like church nearby Church Preen, but it's uh, wider than Church Preen. It probably had a bigger congregation. You've got the a very, very common Victorian boiler house in the basement. Um, there is, uh, to repeat the old joke, there is no theological significance to this. Um, there we are, that lovely black and white belfry again something that you find at Shainton and other churches like this you've got your view your churchyard use nothing as old as that at church preen but then nothing is as old as that at church preen as it's believed to be the oldest tree in europe or certainly was when they put the notice on it saying oldest tree in europe the graveyard is still much used it's still very much a working church this um north door and the, the belfry it's the, the north side is, of course, much simpler. It's the side that faces away from the road. It's also the side that gets the north wind on it. Mass, massive stones in the wall there. You can just see by the, um, by the lancet. So, there we are, Hewley. A church with, with no steeple, but with much of interest to it. And here we are, just round to the west end. And, and again, these because these big windows are there because you've got that glass technology. Because you can put these big stained glass windows in. And it makes the interior... Um, it lights the interior, because now, now most of them are plain glass. Um, but it lights the interior, and it, uh, when it was stained glass, it would give this marvellous effect. So... Here we are, St John the Baptist, Hewley. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video, found it uh, helpful and informative. I say I enjoy making them, and uh, um, I'll continue in this uh, odyssey around Shropshire churches. So thank you for watching, and may God bless you and keep you.